So in this problem, we're told a car slows down from 25 meters per second to rest in a distance of 85 meters. What was its acceleration assumed constant? So in order to solve uh, this problem and problems like it, you're going to have to memorize, well, you didn't even memorize all of these, but it's important to know them. So these are going to be called kinematic equations, and you're going to use these formulas to help find um, different variables uh, when acceleration is constant. So the way I like to approach these problems is just by writing down everything we're given, and then I'm going to decide which equation to use, and then we're just going to plug in the numbers. So uh, let's start with uh, the first thing. So if we're told a car slows down from 25 meters per second. So it starts at 25 meters per second, and then it goes all the way to rest. And so rest is going to be 0 meters per second, right? Because if something's at rest, it's not moving. That means its uh, velocity is 0. So we know that its initial velocity, which is v sub 0, is going to be 0, so, or is going to be 25. So initial velocity we represent by v sub 0, and you see it in this equation. It's going to be 25 meters per second. So 25 meters per second. And then uh, v in this equation just represents... Uh, the final velocity. So at the end, so at the end, it's going to be resting. So its final velocity is going to be zero because when something's at rest, its uh, velocity is zero. So zero meters per second. Then we're told it travels a distance of 85 meters. So it starts at, let's just say zero meters, and then it goes, travels 85 meters, and it, it's 85, right? So its change in x, which in this equation, you see it right there, uh, is going to be 85 meters because the change in its position is 85 meters, because it travels 85 meters. And then the thing it's asking us for is acceleration. So we don't know what that is. That's what we're going to be solving for. So I'm going to put A equals question mark. And then so with these variables, what you want to do, uh, do is decide which equation to you, uh, use. And so you generally base that off of uh, which variables you're given and which ones you're not. So if we look at all these equations, uh, we see that uh, they, these three have a T in it, and we're not given T. And so T just represents time. And so we're not given time, so we can't use any of these. But if we look at the fourth one, we're given v. We're given v sub 0. And then we're given uh, delta x. And so we can solve for a because we have all the variables. So let's just plug everything in. So v squared. And so v is 0, so it's going to be 0 squared. And 0 squared is just 0. So 0 equals v sub 0 squared. So this number right here squared, so... 25 squared plus 2 times a times delta x. And so delta x is 85 meters. So I'm going to move this out front. So 2 times 85 is going to be 170. So this is the same thing as 170a. So now all we got to do is solve for a. So 25 squared is the same thing as uh, 625. So if we minus... Uh, so this is going to be 625. If we minus it to the other side, we're going to get minus 625 is equal to 170a. And so to get a by itself, we divide by 170. And so it's going to be minus 625 over 170. And so when you do that, you should get minus 3.676 and so on. We're just going to be rounding to the tenths place, so it's going to be minus 3.7. And keep in mind what acceleration is. Acceleration is uh, meters per second squared. Or that's the units we're using. So meters per second squared. So the answer to this problem is going to be minus 3.7 meters per second squared.